Hey guys, you know who this is, Young Crasher here, and today I made a video, speculations, or leaks, about this new Transformer movie, The Rise of the Beast. Now, if you think about it for a moment, Rise of the Beast, you might have seen videos that is about Unicorn, the Transformer Unicorn, yeah, the strong you know, villain that looks like a planet and whatnot. You'll see that in the in the fall of Cybertron movie, you see these horns, okay, all around Earth. Now they're saying that that could be unicorn, but the way I see it, the rise of the beast is going towards the timeline, which I'm gonna show you right now. So first of all, we have vector prime okay we have him right here so vector prime is primus appointed guardian of time and space so who is primus primus is the god the creator i'll show you him he is the god of transformers an ancient and ethereal being whose origins date back to the beginnings of the universe itself so primus is a multiversal force of good his life force existing across multiple realities and infinite alternate universes. He is the final defense against his falling sibling, Unicorn, the Chaos Bringer. Okay, now Unicorn is the villain, right? Now, if the if Unicorn comes back, then obviously there has to be something correlating with Primus and you know vector which is the one that we're talking about vector prime right now this is interesting because it says here that vec that vector prime was once a holder of the matrix of leadership before he left cybertron to guard space and time okay but besides that He's the one who balances what what happens in the universe. So he transfers the multiverse, allowing Vector Pan to track and record events, countless of realities. So they call him the first Autobot or whatnot, apparently. But he was created by Primus at the very beginning of its struggle with Unicorn. Okay, so he's gonna play a major role now it might not be in this movie it might be in the second movie so we're probably ahead of ourselves when we're talking about transformers transformers 8 transformers 9 they are gonna play a part in the transformers verse now if they want to include it in there i don't know that's up to the movie directors who are making this but this is just how the story goes so it says here that Vector Prime retreated from the march of history to prepare when the skills will be once again called upon. From isolation, he watched the greatest victories and defeats of the Transformers across various timelines. Okay, intervening only when his hand was needed to preserve the balance of time. Vector Prime helped mend Optimus Prime. Okay, think about it, Optimus Prime and repair the time storm that Predacon Megatron, okay, Megatron, had unleashed in the Beast Wars, okay, think about it, the movie is the rise of the beast, you get what I'm saying, in the Beast Wars, okay, after the Powerlink's battles, Primus attempted to lock Unicorn, essence away in the center of a newborn sun but this plan backfired and the sun collapsed into a black hole also known as the unicorn singularity that threatened the multiverse itself so vector prime was called the cybertron to assist the autobots in locating artifacts which would destroy the black hole okay i think we're ahead of ourselves right here now the beast wars what are the beast wars so the Beast Wars is the battles between Optimus Primal, Maximals, and Megatron's Predacons on prehistoric Earth. Okay, now 
who is Optimus Primal? Well, Optimus Primal is this guy right here. He is, he's a captain. Uh, so he was in an exploration ship when he and his crew diverted off course to pursue Predacon ship under the leadership of some crook named Megatron. Okay, so I guess he was affiliated with Megatron. But then Optimus Primal is much more down to Cybertron than his legendary namesake. He is committed to the maximal cause of honor, more judgment. He does view some irrelevance and is not above finding loopholes uh, if necessary. Optimus Primal is extraordinary for not only being able to distinguish, disguise, distinguish himself despite living in the shadow of Optimus Prime. So, okay, so he... I don't, so he worked for Megatron apparently. So he must be separated from Megatron now. So Optimus Prime and Optimus Primal are apparently two different. You know, he may have surpassed the greatest of the Autobots, seeing as he saved the life of his namesake and ushered in a new Cybertron. It is possible Optimus Primal is the greatest Cybertronian hero. Who has ever lived so he he so he's a hero apparently now I have a feeling that the gorilla that we saw is him I don't know something is just telling me that Optimus Prime will be in that movie it should be in that movie according to how the timeline is going he should be in that movie so Unicorn will play a big factor when it comes to Transformers 7, which is the Rise of the Beast. Now, this, I think this is going to happen. Um, I think Unicorn will rise and then you're going to have to fight, you know, Unicorn. Everybody's going to have to fight Unicorn because he's the strongest super villain. You know what I'm saying? So, this is really interesting. Um, let me know what you guys think. Comment, like, let me know your opinions because this is all correlating towards the timeline. You know? Like, why is it that it's the fall of Cybertron, right? The fall of Cybertron. And then now you got the rise of the beast. I mean, that doesn't make sense, right? You're falling Cybertron, but then you're rising the beast. And then at the end of the movie, you see a spoiler alert. You see Megatron. Exactly what this says. So, that's basically how it's going to go down. Unicorn's coming. If I'm wrong in, you know, next year, then I'm wrong. But I think this is going to play a big role. You know, Transformer 8, 9. We're two ahead. We're two ahead. But, uh, anyways. If y'all like it, give it a like, subscribe. And let me know what y'all think. Until next time. Peace.